Okay, hey everyone. Uh, welcome to my first GEC tutorial video. And today I will be showing you how to create a basic NPC. Um, so yeah, so here we are on the GEC. Um, I'm using Fallout 3's GEC, but obviously uh, New Vegas's GEC will work. I don't know about Fallout 4's. Um, you navigate your way to the NPC area, which is in Actors. And then you just right click New. And then here you go. So ID, uh, I never recommend that you uh, name an ID starting with a zero if you know what i mean so just make it like i guess the character's name so for me i'll just make um poe e i guess poe yeah um and you can put poe npc poe character poe whatever this id is never shown to the player in the game at least um the name is though so make the name something that is uh i don't know not poe actor one or something you know what i mean I mean, all of these aren't really needed for this video. Respawn, Essential. Um, I think Essential, I think that means, like, it can never be killed. It just goes unconscious. Race, um, Caucasian, we can get in that. If you go down here and click Head, you can view your character's head. Same with the body. Um, if you have any headwear on, though, like, I think a hat even. But if you have glasses on, um, your game will, your GAC will crash whenever you try to view the character. So, uh... Don't add any any headgear on until you're officially done with that character. Voice type, um, it depends if you're trying to make a voice character. In this case, we are not. But if you do want your character to have a unique voice, all you do is navigate to voice type right here, right above actors, and then just uh, make yourself a little voice, and then you can find it in here again. Um, class, you want to put this as Wasteland Adventure. That's just usually what I do. But you can do whatever you want. Uh, alignment, I think uh, this means whenever you kill the NPC, what you would get for it. Uh, evil karma, good karma, or neutral just means nothing. Death item and combat style, we don't really have to worry about this, I don't think at all. Although I will do followers combat style and melee just for now. Stats, um, this is completely up to you. If you do PC level multi, that just levels up with the character. Or you can just set everything to whatever you want, so level 50 um whatever you, whatever you really want and then we go to uh factions you do want to add your character to the wastelander faction right here um that just means that it's friends and foes uh, align with the wastelanders like a basic wastelanders too so the megaton settlers as long as you didn't blow them up or try to kill them they will be on your side or this npc side i mean same with like people from 10 penny tower or the city stuff like that um, AI data, um, uh, so right here, first of all, all down here, this is all just for vendors or t people to trade with, you know, repair, recharge, training, whatever. Um, aggression, this I recommend you keep as unaggressive. Um, if you put it as aggressive, very aggressive, or anything like that, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm pretty sure the NPC will attack you instantly. So, I mean, I guess it's down to what NPC you're trying to make, but I don't aggressive if I'm going to have it. Mood, doesn't really matter. Um, energy responsibility, I don't know what those do. Aggro radius behavior, I think this is uh, where um, a radius of where the character gets aggravated. Confidence, now this does play a big part depending on what NPC you're making. Cowardly, he would always run away. Cautious, he will sometimes mostly run away. Average, he half and half. Brave, he will pretty much go into all battles. Foolhardy, he will go into every single battle he can. I'm just going to be doing a, a average right for now. So AI packages is um, kind of important. So just right click and then add because we're not going to make one at all. And then type in default sandbox current location. So what this means, if you don't know, is this is going to sandbox in this um, radius, which you can read the radius at the end. Um, you can do 256, 512, 1024. 2000 um but mostly just do the sandbox current location i'm gonna do 256 for this video but uh you can do whatever you want inventory again this comes down to what you want um this does go for outfits though so if you click new and then you click uh, outfit and you do bos scribe and then when i click full again i now have the outfit on actor effect list does not matter Animation does not matter for this video. Face does matter. So you can make him old and young. It does it does change the um 
the skin tone, which I don't like. But yeah, you can see the the hands and the face, they don't match the skin tone. So it's really weird what you do with the uh, age. I usually just generate. So this might, this might look good with the body and everything. Yeah, I mean, I guess that looks fun. So yeah, you can customize the hair color here. Hair length, which I don't see a big difference in. But I guess I'll keep it at long. Uh, complexion, which is just mostly uh, uh, skin tone and skin color. And then age, obviously, yeah. So face advance, um, I don't recommend you really do this unless you know what you're doing or if you want to make a really disgusting character. But obviously this is used to customize um, like specific parts of the body or the face, I guess. They can make the lips really small. Or like really big. You can make the mouth really happy. Or really sad. Yeah, it's all up to <laughs> it's all up to you, I guess. You do you do you, everyone. Head parts. Um, this is to customize the hair. Which does um it does depend on your character's age, I guess. If you Caucasian old, Caucasian young, or just Caucasian, you know, hair is swap. Um, which I don't really think is a good idea. And then you have eyes, which you don't have a lot of options for. You have, uh, none, which is this blue. Then you have blue, uh, brown, default, which I believe, uh, I think that's just brown. Uh, and then you have green. Oh, wait. Default is green. Okay, yeah. And then you can add, uh, your own custom head part here, which is just mostly mustaches and everything. Um, you can add an eye patch though, which does not crash your gex surprisingly, but I'm not going to be adding that. Um, blood and destruction does not matter, same with scripts. And that's basically character done. So now we are going to add him into, um, the world. So I'm going to go to the wasteland. Alright, and I'm going to look for the vault 101 exterior. Come all the way down here. Oh, click S to all, obviously. All right, just got to adjust my camera here. All right, so now we're going to look for my character on the left side. So we made... Wait, what was that character's name? I cannot believe I forgot. All right, I found him, Poey. We're going to drag him in. And there he is. Looking nice, of course. Now we're going to hold him and then click F to just drop him to the floor it but as you see it's kind of clipping through it so i'm gonna uh adjust myself hold the z to move him around just a little bit and then we're gonna save it as poey and now we can go in the game to look for the npc all right so here we are and as you can see poey is a character uh, hello. he's at low health though i don't know why that is but yeah he's here you can talk to him need? And he has a basic generic uh, name and everything. Yeah, see ya. Um, in the next video, I will let everyone know how to do dialogue and lip syncing. Um, so basic dialogue, and then you can add lip sync to the dialogue too. What do you need? So that'd be amazing to do. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching this video on how to create an NPC. And uh, yeah.